welcome to session. Was it five or six? Four? Five. Five. Welcome to session five. Um, we've done it a bit. Asked about tip this time, really, because um, we're actually just finished a forty-eight hour sesh. Um, I don't, why don't we blog? Just couldn't be asking. No, we, we wanted to concentrate on the fishing. Just wanted to concentrate on the fishing. Uh, minimal drinking this time, and um, it was basically just. I mean, all pumps, all hands to the pump, mm -hmm. should we say? Um, Tell the end result. Six fish we had. Six sorry, six carp, one bream. Um, we're down at a place called Baker's Puddle. Uh, the bailiff's name is Gus. Really friendly guy. Comes around, he uh, helps you out if you're struggling or anything like that. Luckily enough, we weren't struggling, was we? No, no. Um, the carp we had were up to about just over 12 pound. Um, although there is some photo albums here, and the fish are amazing. Isn't isn't they? They're good condition fish. Every fish we've had's been really good. Um, but there's there's a little sneaky rumour that there's a fish in here that goes up to 37. There's no photos of it in the um, book there, and apparently it ain't been out for four years, so mm. take from that what you will. Um, apparently there's a good head of 20s in here as well. We never managed to wink one out, did we? No. Um, but uh, I'll show you the pictures of the fish in a minute. Uh, basically, this is just like a mini review of the... Uh, of the place, so we'll start with um, start with bad points. Any bad points you can think of? Um, yeah, the, the floor's a bit manky, so loads of soil on the floor. Um, it just looks a bit dilapidated. I think that's part and parcel why we didn't want to do a vlog because um, it didn't look very glamorous. But at the end of the day, the fish are really nice in there, so we decided to actually do a vlog um, and unlook at some of the pictures and that. And the fish have had perfect fish, so. Um, I've got to be quick so I need to go and get some fuel from Asda, so I think I'll let Bill carry on. Oh. Yeah, a good mini session. Jack and I look forward to seeing you soon. Later. So, See you later. See you in a bit, mate. Walk away, walk away. Okay, so back to me again. Um, bad points. There's. Um, I'm not professional, right? I'm, I'm not. You know I'm not. Neither is Ash. Although there's a thing that I like to call angling etiquette. Right? Loads of different things that you, you should do and you shouldn't do. A few things that get on my nerves. And now, you know, we were done 48 hours here. There was one, two, three, four. There's been six other people on here this weekend. Um, and more people come in and walk around and have a look at it as well. Now, people turn bloke turned up yesterday. But anyway, I'll show you where Ash is fishing, right? He's fishing just not not this one here, that one there he was right. And the entrance is just up there. So you walk down there and then you start going around the lake or you can come back around here. Anyway, so Ash had a fish on the on the bank, right? About a six pound. First thing he says uh, this bloke says, How are you getting on lads? He went, Oh it's just uh, it's our first one. Just this about six pound. He went, Alright, no need to no need to blab about it. So it's just a baby. And he's like, what? Alright. Well, he just asked us, so it was a bit mental. And then, uh, and then I got one on straight away there, 12 pound, like just after Ash. He come back around and said, he said, oh, it's just, just a little one. I went, yeah, alright, well, let's see what you catch. Well, he, he was fishing for roach, so I don't know what he's on about. He had a roach and perch. I mean, he was just taking a few of them out. But, um, <laughs> but he had his carp rods out as well. And oh my god, setting your alarms with the volume turned up high, super high, so we, everyone can hear it. It's <coughs> oh, fucking day. Just like that, oh, give it a break. And also, you know what I mean, shouting, keep your noise down. I mean, we were fishing in the margins and that, do you know what I mean? There's people shouting across the lake, and we're like, give us a break here, do you know what I mean? We're trying to catch some fish here. But, good points, I think, outweigh the bad points, definitely. Um, this lake because you've got power to um, probably all all of the swims if not just most of them. Um, you've got um, on-site like kettle and a microwave, and a fridge to keep your stuff in. It's only mini fridge, like I so say, keep your milk and that in it. Um, there's uh, little block platforms and that. So in the summer, I imagine it will be uh, the platforms will be all right. Ash stacked it on one of the platforms the other morning, getting a take. Which is absolutely hilarious to see. But the best thing I think about this lake, right, is uh, we brought our bibs down and that.
but there's not enough room. So what he's done, the guy Gus here, he's built these little like um, little sheds and that, like little hanging sheds, and uh, they've got lights in them and like you say power and that. And you just don't have to get your bivy up; just put your your bed in there. So I'll like, show you. Well, that's too close, but basically, here's my swim. My rods are away now, and uh, inside here, there's all the mud from the thing. But you get your bed in here, look, and a little fridge down there, and lighting and stuff. Ash is the same. Ash has got one down here. Like I say, he's gone there. There he is, there, look. He's got one built in there. Brilliant. So you don't need to bother with getting your bivvy up or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's been, a, it's been a good sesh. So, six fish, six carp. Um, I'll show you where I was fishing. Alright. If you look down there. I had one. Right down there. PV bags, exactly the same rig as I've been using on all the other blogs near, near enough. But good news, if you think back to the first session, so I've all got, got the old fizz bombs out, didn't we? Tried the fizz bombs on here. Boom, two fish within five minutes of each other. You know what I mean? If they was up in the layers, they're coming back down. So anyway, so I had one right down there, I had one, if you had to swim over there, boom, I was getting right in there. That's where I had three fish from there. One fish from down there. Now, I would have liked to put one down right down in that corner, but it was just too tight of an angle, I think. And then I had my third rod was just out in mid water. I had launched it right up there, well, up there, but then some anglers turned up yesterday to fish there. Um, so I brought it in. I had it on a zig first of all, and I was getting a few bleeps on it, but trying different levels and that, but nothing. So I put a, brought it in a bit when them people turned up, and I brought it into about here. Um, and that was just on a bottom bait rig. Now, um, the lake is basically it's like a runoff, like a reservoir, so not like a reservoir, I um, can't think of the word. Um, basically, it's an irrigation thing, used to be anyway, but now it's just full of beautiful, beautiful fish. Um, there's koi's in here as well, there's ghosties, there's a cat, there's perch, big perch as well. I saw that bloke pull a couple of big perch out yesterday, roach, rud. Um, but the depth it goes down to like 14 foot in the middle, uh, and it's just about three foot of really fine silt. But the carp don't shy away from it; it's all good silt, and uh, they like to feed in it. But then coming up the edges, coming up the edge of the shelves, and that all uh, all across there, all down there, all round basically, like it's like a like a bowl. Um, it's like rock and uh, gravel and stuff like that. But when we walked around on Thursday, Thursday night. We, there was, I mean, the fish were proper tight in the margins, even under the uh, under the the pegs, like under the platforms. We were disturbing them and like spooking them off and that. And so they loved the margins here. But but uh, Gus was also saying that they love the middle. They love a zig. They love boilies. They love particle. Love taking it off the top. Um, yeah, I mean, every dog has its day, and yeah, I mean, I imagine the fish. That, well, the fish have just switched on or switched off. Um, but we've done all right. We've done all right, just doing what we're doing. Ash was on the cell, and he had two out, and I was on the plum again. But switched it about a bit. I had a high vis pink plum, um, special little um, bottom baits. I think they're about 15, 15 to 18 mil um, that the bait and feed company made up for us. And uh, they said a oh, high vis pink with a little tip with a bit of uh, yellow fake plastic con. Um, Ash had a theory, he reckons that because we were feeding with the pellet and we had a bit of corn like tipping on the boilie and that, that the fish were going for the corn and the pellet rather than the boilie itself. But I tried, I switched over on my third rod to a, um, a different flavour boilie with the corn and that and didn't have anything on it. So, you know, you make of that what you will. But as you can see, I've got me, got me cold weather hat on today because the temperatures just dropped this weekend. I mean, it was two degrees last night. It felt like bloody minus degrees last night. It was two degrees last night, and um, we keep getting like like temperature waves come through. One day, a minute, like one minute we're like, oh yeah, you know what I mean, just got the buffalo. One next minute, full layers on, neck warmer and big hat, and then Ash was wearing his baseball cap, and then he had to put woolly hat on, and oh, it's crazy. But um, all in all. Really good sesh. I'm oh, sorry we didn't do a proper blog for you, but I thought we'd do something for you at least, just to show you um, that we've been out again this weekend. Oh, it's the uh, what is it? 
is it the 21st? It's the last weekend in February anyway. I think. So, uh, but I'll let, I'll let you know. I'll type it on the uh, thing. And uh, so it is cold. Do you know what I mean? But we're still out, still angling, we're still catching. That's the main thing. And uh, like I say, next time we're getting our we're getting our memberships for um, Colchester Angling Club uh, at the end of this month. So um, we'll be fishing a few of their waters from now on, or most of their waters from now on. Um, unless, of course, you own a fishery and you want us to come and fish it and, and blog it and do whatever you are, just get in touch with us. We'll come down there, pop down there, as long as it's not too far away, is that what I mean? We were in Suffolk, so we'll do Suffolk and Essex and like surrounding areas and that. Won't go too far. Um, but yeah, really good. We're still going for it. No, nothing big. We still haven't had nothing big yet, but... I said to Ash, I said, I mean, they're going to come. If we keep fishing as hard as we are, they're going to come. So, um, there we go. Quick tackle review um, before I go. Okay, it's the uh, the Chubb Five Star Old Door. Uh, it's the one I use. The one I'd, I've never stopped using. The only thing I'm going to change about it is I'm going to upgrade to the Six Star because it can hold six rods instead of five. All right, I'll show you it now. All right, this is it here. It's got all separate pouches. All right, for the bottoms of your rods. Then they stop there, and then they get covered with this. I mean, this is all padded. That's all padded. Keep all your rods in there, nice and nice and secure in there. Big enough for big pits. As you can see here, spot the marker, there's my big pit in there, which would one. Um, and then they're tipped with uh, got some star baits rod protectors on there. And then, where my leads are, I'll leave, leave my leads on, I've got these little carpology uh, like rod bands, so my, my lead doesn't bang off me, me, um, me rod there from my blank and, and start scratching it and stuff like that. Uh, on the other side, hang on a minute. On the other side, as you can see, you've got a big pocket here. Put your landing net pole in there. A bit weird, actually. The, the pocket stops there. My landing pole is that big, so it sticks out the top, don't I? And then one here for your um, bank sticks and that. So, it is there. But like I say, it's all padded. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant bit of kit. And these straps here go around the wheels and that. Hold everything securely. Absolutely puck a bit of kit. I thoroughly recommend it. Right. Latest. There we go. That's that's me going to sign off now. Just got my last little bits to pack up, um, and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, fish safe. Don't have nightmares.